has to be a perfect shot, I hate to say it. What is happening guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back out here, Stream Song Black today. The guys that have played these courses out here, this has been their favorite. The greens are supposedly supposed to be insane and crazy, which I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone puts on them. Yeah. And we're gonna do a nine hole challenge, team twigs versus team electric connection, nine holes scramble. The first five will be on my channel, the next four will be on Garrett's channel. And uh, yeah, how's everyone feeling right now? I'm feeling hungry, but I really think we can go out there and shoot well. We can, we can get the job done, trust me. Feeling pretty good. Everyone's feeling good. The Twister uh, windmill is in the background. Really, It really sounds like you're in the Twister right now. Steven, not sure why you have the umbrella. There's gonna be no rain in the forecast, but he's always ready to go. Actually, that might be my uh, Could driver. Be a dark horse driver. All right, we're jumping into it. Boom. Hole number one here, guys, on the black course. Very excited to be out here. It's a par five, long and straight. Garrett, first on the tee. It's a little foggy this morning with the condensation on the lens. It looked like he was going down the middle. It's a great shot there. Now that that shot's out there, that it frees up Steven. Interesting strategy, they have Steven going second here in the scramble. Really just allowing him to swing for the fences, which puts that into play. Boom, first try. Wow. God, that's crushed. That was crushed. All right, Steven, feeling good about it. All right, Matt here up, hitting the driver. You know, yesterday he was getting pretty handsy. Also, this camera's kind of foggy. Yeah, trust me guys, we're, this is not edited. This is just what it looks like. Dreaming oh, of a handsy so hook. Good, that's, so that's the handsy hook. All right, and Brody here. We're gonna do a little something something. Yeah, there you go. I think that might help. Oh, dead straight, good ball. He's back, baby. All right, guys, tee shot for Team Twigs here. Kind of bombed it and still way short of Brody, who is right up there. Team Twigs is way back there. Yeah, there's going to be a Walmart built between Yeah, they're going to have an issue, so uh, we have the advantage here on the first shot. Uh, this is the green in which we're looking at. All right, guys, we got 211 in front, 255 back left edge. Steven's going to go ahead and go first. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have a hybrid for him, so he's going to be using three wood. Kind of sets up for a fade, and I think that's all he needs to play here, nice and smooth. Right on the green, a little one iron there, folks. Uh, we're in a good spot here. I don't know where our yardage is, but we're both going for the green. 508 yard par five. We have about 198 left. Oh, hits it absolutely pure, but club face was super close. Going left, might catch the bunker. Yep, definitely in the bunker. Don't do what I did, right? Don't do the hook nonsense. Just looking for a nice, nice smooth little swing here. Oh boy. Brody, this is not what I said to do. Don't let me fake you guys out with my drive thinking that I'm back. Oh, I'm definitely not back. <laughs> After oh that last God. shot of just pull, pull hooking it 70 yards off line. All right, Garrett and Steven came up just a bit short on their approach shot here. Steven's gonna go first for Team Twigs. It's gonna come up a little short, I think. There's a pretty big slope here. Not bad though, look at that though. See it just roll? You can see too how big the fairways are on black. Much bigger fairways. Much better shot. It's coming kind of right at me. And it's just gonna slope away. Honestly, that was gonna be about eight feet and it ended up about 15. All right guys, this is where Matt and Brody are. Front left bunker, not in the best spot. Uh, here's where Steve and I actually ended up. It's kind of crazy how sloped these greens actually are. Hit it really good. Matt? Exactly, hit that one really pure. That one was so good. Matt, keep that up. Spin. Yep, exactly our point. Oh, it did spin, but that's also off the green. Brody's usually solid at those. Brody's going to go ahead and go as Matt is over there about 75 yards long getting his ball. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Matt, don't hit that hard. Matt, we cannot afford you to hit that hard. It is definitely clear that these greens have slope to them. Love that. I'm picking my ball up. Well, that's actually trash too. Steven now here for his birdie putt. Yeah, we'll and that is gone. This would be a pretty huge start for Team Twig. Yep. All right, that's a good par there for them. Knock that in, Steven. <laughs> wow. All right, we got Matt Brody for a par putt to tie us on the hole. That always walks to the hole. Yeah. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Bogey on a par five start. It's not what you're looking for out here, guys. We're gonna have to make some sort of movements, but you know us, we start slow, we build up. Hole two here, 324 yard par four. You can kind of see the green is all the way up there. Gary's got a driver. Oh no. Little hooky. Plain hooky. Steven now with a three wood it looks like in hand. Really needs something here. Garrett is in trouble. We are playing stroke play, so this does matter. Okay, Stinger off the tee. Oh my god, that took the Perfect biggest. layup from Team Twigs. Matt here, going with a little iron. That's, that's a bold strategy. Sit down, sit down. Can't stop the hook, man. Brody's going driver here after Matt luckily hit the fairway, the left side. God, that take away so fast, bro. Yeah, it's way too quick. Pen high. All right, guys, so this is where Steven's ball ended up. Quite a nice tee shot, to be honest with you. We got 142. I'm either hitting pitching wedge or nine iron. I haven't really decided because it's straight uphill. Steven's got a smooth eight, which I just think he swings normal. Yeah, it just stay straight. Well, it looks like pitching wedge was the right play uh, up the hill, about 142. Steven hit eight, which was probably also about pin high, but I think Team Twigs is gonna come out here, take an easy dub. We're currently one up. Matt's got the hooks. Brody doesn't know where his ball's going. That dub will be taken today. All right, you guys, it's about 130, I'd say, 130, 135 to the pin. Uh, Brody's got a nice soft 50 in hand. I just wanna apologize to you, Matt. You actually hit a really good tee shot. Oh, I thought thanks. it was trash, because I thought it was gonna be in that bunker. Something nice and smooth up here, right? Yep. There's definitely, guys, if you come out and play this hole, do not take driver in this hole. Definitely an iron out here, and you're gonna have a great look at the green. Keep it on the left side. Oh, and Brody started that right at the pin, but then it starts to bleak out a little bit right, and we're on the green, though. Honestly, for how I'm playing, I should be pretty happy about that shot. All right, Matt now, 50 in hand, nice and smooth. Oh, really good swing, starts at the windmill, going straight at the windmill. We have it surrounded, but far. Looks like Matt and Steven missed the green here a little bit to the left. Looks like Steven went a little bit long. Garrett hit a really, really nice shot in here. He's got about 10 feet or so for birdie, and we got about 20 feet or so coming down the hill. There's a ridge maybe three-fourths, eh, a little closer halfway between him and the cup. Barely has to get this over the ridge, and it'll just roll out the rest of the way. Might need to hit a little harder than that. Just a little bit harder than that, and that would have been pretty good. Get up. Slightly better than yours, but not, huh? It's not bad. Nice bar. All right, Steve-O for the putt, for birdie. Oh, wow. All right, Garrett from the reed, off of Steven. Can he connect and make a bird? Oh, doesn't even take a lot of time. He hits it short, though. That was in the, that was in the hole, man. Technically, we're one over and they're even. We're fine. Yeah. All right, guys, this whole three here, Straight away, don't really see much, but uh, it's probably in between driver and three wood, so I'm hearing. I'm probably gonna go three wood, but I don't know. See, so we're gonna go ahead and try and play his natural little fade. It's a nice little smooth swing here. Perfect. Probably one of the best the tee shots I've seen him hit. Oh, no. All right, Matt going off here. First for electric connection. Really need him to stick this one in the fairway for me. It ain't a low bread, it's a high bread. Gotta love the handsy hook. Broke another T. If that's your biggest problem in life, I think you're doing all right. Yeah. All right, B dog. Got three wooden hand. Gonna try to swing a little smoother. I like the sound of that. Nope. Much smoother matter. swing, still rush. So frustrating. You gotta give me some help here. What, what am I doing? This is a situation we're at 191 or so. My ball was way up there on the left. It was playable, but the Angle to this green, as you can see, would have been really bad. I'm just gonna try to play one out. This is a huge green. Play one out to the right, draw it in. Starts at 30 yards right, and it's coming in perfectly. Okay. Are you kidding me? That's Pretty good. Oh, it's starting to, now it's starting to come. Guys, that is a good shot. Brody's gonna try to flush this one. Seven iron hand, 191 to the pin. See if he can't get it close. Oh, he does the same thing, but it does not draw as much. Keep going. Ah, but hey, good swing. All right, guys, Steven's ball is actually over there, perfectly placed in the fairway. That's the green we're kind of looking at. Pin's kind of on the far left, just behind that bunker. My ball's right over there. We're probably taking Steven's ball because it is a way better angle. I'm actually hitting nine here. We got 153 just up and over that bunker. Steven's going to go ahead and hit eight. It's actually, I mean, just a really solid contact shot. 
little right, but it's all right. Garrett now coming in from probably like 150. He's doing the helicopter spin. Never a good sign. Oh, but that was a great shot. What a shot, dude. Well, guys, this is where my ball ended up, just kind of front left. Not too far away for a little birdie action. Matt and Brody. Looking at a really tough putt, to be honest with you. Yeah, you hit that one pretty hard, but it might actually be okay. Oh my God, dude, are you serious? Dang, how's that short? I thought for sure that was long. It looks like it's way more that. downhill. And Brody here to knock this one in for a nice, solid birdie. Oh, he did the same thing. See, it's so deceiving. No, that's definitely, no way, what? Oh my God. That's dirty. Yeah, that's one of those putts where me and Matt both thought it was uh, gonna be quick. Two really, really good strikes, actually. Can't be too upset with it, just was too short. Right. Steven's feeling the one-handed. Guys, this is another Bro5 video coming soon, the one-handed challenge. So make sure you go over and subscribe to Bro5 if you haven't already. Oh, that was... It's so much more pure, and it's really <laughs> pissing me right off. <laughs> Garrett now for the first birdie of the day. Comes up real quick. Just oh my up. gosh, what do you feel about your playing partner missing multiple putts? It's fine, I'm missing just as many. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool looking hole here, hole four. There's a fairway on the right, it's a par five, but then you look over here, there's another fairway. It's only 260 to clear to the left side, but it is a little tight. You going big time? That's what we like to hear. We need something to happen here, guys. Par five. Can we just address the fact that you guys are one over and we're even par on a scramble? Yeah. What are we addressing? How bad we're playing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trash right now. So what's your excuse? I mean, I'm hitting it well. It's just, <laughs> we can't score. You guys just can't make putts. All right, Steven first, member of Team Twigs. Got a tough situation here, guys. Split fairway. Got to hit a good shot. Starts at left, and it heads right for the middle of the junk. Come on. That was decently straight. If I would have aimed to the left side of the fairway. That could have been good, yeah. Light pressure for Garrett. Tough situation to be in. Got to hit a really, really good shot. And he, and he definitely does. He literally roped that. Driving it well. All right, Matt, going with the handsy hook. Starting it right over there, playing a little butter draw into the right side of the fairway, hopefully. Sit down. Right in the tall grass. Oh, it, that could be good. Oh my gosh. Could be in that play. Could be like perfect. All right, Brody, going to the left side of the fairway, uh, right where I'm at. Ideally, that's where you want to be. Yep. There it is. Yeah. That just felt like I was literally. Had a tug of wear versus a black grizzly. Okay, par five here was 550. We have what to the pin? 186 to the pin. We got a little bit of wind to the back. Me and Brody, you know, electric connection dominates, so might even be an eight iron for being. Honestly, we're in a pretty good situation here. Time to put a good swing on the ball, guys. Literally just try to put two good swings on the ball and then make a putt. And Eagle all of a sudden puts us right in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. That was good. Just saying, EA Sports. <laughs> Matt here with the eight iron from about 185. Oh, he needed the handsy hook there and he just blocked it out to the right. That's way right. Even though that's not good, I'm still kind of happy because good shots out here is what I'm looking for and that was a good shot. So hopefully Brody can hit a good shot as well and give us a great look for a birdie because that would be ideal because Team Twigs is currently struggling. Oh, oh am, I, am I back? Is he back? Where'd that go? Boom, we're putting. We're putting for Eagle. Am I back? I don't know. I think so. Here's where the ball ended up. We're kind of looking up and over this hill. You can barely see the pin right up there. We got about 215. I'm going to hit a little five iron. The miss is left. This is a par five. Guess what Steven's hitting? He's hitting a little one iron. He's choosing the bladed one iron. This is the hardest one iron to hit. That was actually going to be a pretty good shot if you didn't chunk it. Where'd he go? A little left. I think it was... 10, 15 yards, 20 yards left, not good. Now's the time to dominate you guys. Team Twigs, Play Steven, trouble. Yeah, Steven hit a bad shot and Garrett went really left and uh, we're putting for Eagle. So this is a great opportunity for us to get the job done and dominate that way. Right, well, now yes. is the time, I gotta start playing good golf. We actually have a legitimate shot at Eagle nice. here. This would be clutch. Boom. All right, Team Twigs rolling up to their ball. What are you guys' thoughts, initial thoughts, Steven? I thought it was good. over there. I, I chunked my one iron, so anything better than that. Yeah, but you can see they're right here. They do have a massive slope right here, just getting onto the green. We're over here. We've got about 25, uh, might even be 27 feet or so left for our eagle. Steven from up top, going with the putter. This is gonna be a really tough putt here. Starts it way left. It's going left. It's going more left. Now it's starting to work its way back. With a little more speed, that would have been an incredible putt. Not bad, Steven. 
Garrett now after seeing the line that was actually a pretty much a perfect line there for Steven just need a little more pace on it Garrett does give it more pace this might be really good honestly it might be really good if it catches a little bit more oh it just slowed there at the end they're gonna have a testy one for their birdie guys all right, we got Brody and Matt. Decently hard putt. Nah, no, it's, it's kind of straight, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if they three putt, it'd be rough, but I see a solid little two putt in their future. Bad line. Really bad line. Matt's a guy that takes 35 years and doesn't even put it close. All right, we got Brody up here. Matt did not help him with the line because he hit it straight left. Brody went That's right at really it, good. right at it, right. Oh, it does move a little See, bit at the hole. Moved. All right, we'll take a birdie that puts us back to even par, timed with Team Twigs. But they have a putt for birdie. What do you, what do you think the chances this goes in? Like 2%. I think Steven might be going back with the one-handed putting stroke for birdie. Oh, he didn't hit it. He didn't hit it. All right, that's a par. Garrett now, this is basically his third real good look at birdie. Hasn't made one yet. I'm guessing this one's going in the back of the cup. Yep, cashed it. Oh! oh. Right, shut up. Okay, there's a little bit of an animosity going on between Team Twigs and Electric Connection, guys. This is what's happened. Well, that was a little bit of a struggle, a little lip out there. Uh, just so you guys know, this is the last hole of Brody's part on his channel. If you guys want to check out part two, it's going to be on my channel. The last four holes, I have a good feeling Steve and I are going to take the dub, but maybe not. I don't want to get too confident here. Um, clearly, Brody and Matt have enough confidence to sustain for the whole group. On to the next par three. Okay, last hole here, par three. You guys don't obviously have any idea what we're looking at, but Matt, what are your first initial thoughts on this? Don't like it. it has to be a perfect shot. I hate to say it. it that reminds me almost of like a plat, uh, what do they call that? Plateau? It looks absolutely devastating. We have to hit the green. A three here is good. Hole five, honestly an insane looking hole. Up and over those bunkers is the pin. We got 158. It's playing like 175. So I'm not really sure what club I'm gonna hit. It's either gonna be seven or eight. So this is gonna be a tough shot. Starting to try to make back to back birdies here. Look at this hole, it's insane. All right, good shot. All right, Brody here going with a little six iron. Uh, I have a nine. Nine iron, so the upside down six iron, that's what I meant to say. Lots of bunkers on this hole, really coming into play, but Matt's already up there on the green. Actually hit a pretty good shot. Oh, I might be back, guys. Brody actually hit a good shot. I this might is be surprising. Back. I think I figured it out. So I think this is what's happened. Again, I'm just kind of figuring this out on the fly. Before, I was using like my hands to bring the club back. In the last couple of shots, I've really focused on using my shoulders and my hips. And I've hit two really good iron shots. We're gonna keep it going until it doesn't work and we'll try something different. Steven, if it carries. It didn't go. It's short. There. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Telling you guys, Electric Connection is here to stay. We got Maddie's ball. Pretty saucy there. I came up just a little bit short. I actually don't know where my ball hit. I would love to see the mark because there is. Oh, it hit right here. Right on this ridge. Gosh, that was right in line with the pin. Team Twigs, guys, really struggle busting it down here. I mean, this is. This is hashtag crater life. This is hashtag not where you want to be. Garrett trying to levitate. He literally has to hit this ball straight up in the air. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. What a shot. Steven. Hey, that's pretty good. Kind of dirty, dude, for your first bunker shot of your life. <laughs> All right, they took Garrett's ball out of the sand, which is really impressive to even hit the green, you guys. Went with the two hands. Oh Went my with the god. Two hands. That's a little long, folks. Well, good line though. All right, Garrett got a read from Steve O. Oh, we just didn't play the ridge high enough, but really good speed. Yeah. They should be able to tap that in for bogey. Oh, right, we got Matt and Brody here for a bird. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you tugged it so Wow. Hard. If there was ever a time to be alive, guys, stay in school. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Like Boom! Stay in school, kids! And do your homework! Do your homework! First day of school, bring an apple to your teacher, tell her that she looks nice. If it's a dude, tell him he looks good. That's a good putt. That's a really good putt. We're bouncing. They're on, they're on the, they're on the tee box. Oh. Alright guys, uh, Electric Connection doing massive amounts of work with back-to-back -back birdies. Literally clutch. Really hard part three, and we did it. We got it done. I don't know really what happened. We kind of blacked out on the green there. 
Yeah. But we are now bouncing over to Garrett's channel to finish up the uh, last four holes here in the Stroke Play Electric Connection Team Twig Challenge. We're starting to play like we normally do. Yeah, this is the Electric Connection gameplay that, yeah. that, that usually comes out when we play. And for some reason, we had a little bit of a slow start, but that's usually how we start. Score we'll update. Uh, we're one under, and they are... One over. One. Definitely go over to Bro5. Follow Please. on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, but most importantly, subscribe to Bro5 on YouTube. Link will be in the description down below. We're loving it. We're loving it. We're loving it.